Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Um, thank you for joining the section. Uh, I want to uh, have an introduction for uh, AMD leading uh, high performance and energy efficient architecture on fourth gen AMD Epic processors. The fourth gen AMD Epic processor, which is extending and computer leadership, uh, we have several key bullet points. And the first one is the leadership circuit um, performance copper core. And this generation, we offer us uh, up to 96 um, core count, physical core count, which we can deliver a single circuit, non compromised uh, performance to our customers. The Zen 4 CCD is manufactured by TSMC 5 nanometer passes. And meanwhile, uh, for memory wise, we offer us 12 channel memory bandwidth, um, which we can offer uh, 12 DIMM or 24 DIMM, which each, each uh, circuit can support up to six terabyte memories. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we also support CXL devices, uh, which use 1.1 uh, plus type three. Uh, it means you can install more uh, memory devices in addition to our system memory. For PCI IOs, uh, for 2P, we can support 160 PCI lens with PCI Gen 5 capabilities. Uh, also support CXL, I just talked about it. For security-wise, we support uh, two times SEV and SMP guests. Uh, if your customer want to um, protect your data, preventing exposure to uh, some uh, external or preventing uh, virus attacking, yeah, you can enable the feature. So uh, the last one is the direct uh, CXL attached memory encryption. Yeah, we also enable it to protect your data and enhance the security. Yeah, uh, here is the chart you can see. Uh, we compare with our competitors. Uh, our performance IPC uplift is better in uh, the since uh, 2018 we have started to uh, invest more resources to uh, invest our R&D and engineering to focus on performance per call. So you can see our, our, our score is very high. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here, we, I want to show you how we deliver better performance comparing our third gen. Our third gen is called Milan. And the first one is cloud applications. Um, we uh, compare with the integer throughput, which is focused on ice pass and the social and the SaaS uh, relative workload. Um, our first gen 96 core, uh, 9654 model, which delivers 1.7 performance higher than our previous generations. And the middle one is HPC. HPC we compare with 14 point. This generation we support, start to support AVX 512, uh, which is a, a big change and a, a good advantage. So we can deliver 123% uh, performance higher comparing to our previous generation. Yeah. Uh, for enterprise, work, work, enterprise workload, um, we uh, compare with uh, Java throughput, which we uh, focus on virtualization and Hadoop and non SQLized. Our performance gain is 94%, comparing with our third gen Milan processors. Okay, I want, also want to introduce Gigabyte Server. Gigabyte is a bunch of uh, MD design servers. If you have time, you can take a look of their boots. And I think they, this one is a high dens density servers. They also have a general purpose servers and uh, recommend servers and edge servers and web servers. So uh, HCI servers. So you can take a look. Uh, this server also uh, provide the highest density on uh, MD first gen general. You can see it's a 2P 24 DMs. So it means you only need server for a uh, two U with four servers. Um, you can get the best performance and highest density performance. Okay, 
let me reiterate our same for uh, architecture goal, which is our performance is pursuing a double digit I, IPC uplift and the frequency improvements. Uh, so you can find, uh, you can, if you ever um, uh, check our general performance, you can find a significant, significant performance improvement. Yeah. And for latency wise, uh, we have been uh, redesigning the architecture on L2 cache. Uh, so they improve our catch effectiveness. For throughput, absolutely, the performance core count and the memory, we got a significant uh, improvement. Okay, uh, this is uh, our IPC uplift. Uh, we have uh, evaluated a German of 33 server workloads. We got 14% enhancement comparing to our Gen 3 architecture. Yeah. So here is the Gen 4 performance contributors like L2 and the execution engine and a low store front end. Okay. This is the guidance of our Gen 4 uh, general uh, overview. Um, for compute wise, we have uh, 12 CCD. Each CCD we have eight cores and share with the 32 mega L2 cache. Um, so we have 12 CCD and then in the middle side, uh, in the central side, we have uh, IO die. IO die which provides PCI IO lens and uh, Infinity Fabric and the DDR5 memory controller and the security processors which embedded in the IO dies. Okay, let's talk about a little bit ABX512. Uh, we enable uh, this feature on our fourth gen epic processors. So for we have some evaluation on the performance and throughput. For neural magic uh, sparse in the edge interface, inference, we have 4.2 times better than our previous generation. And for image image classification throughput, we have three times better. And object detection throughput, we have 3.5 times better. Yeah. All comparing our previous generation Milan. Okay, here is the SOC platform overview. Uh, in the left side is a 2P configuration. Uh, you can see uh, there are four links uh, here, which uh, we use our PCI repo to interconnect the 2P processors. And in the right side is a single P configuration. Um, we talk about uh, well, our 2P can support 116, 160 PCI lens, which we can leverage one each one PCI repo. So if we configure with only three XGMI, we can have a 2P with a 160 a PCI Gen 5 lens. So we also offer the flexibility on system design. Okay, here is an example for from Gigabyte. Gigabyte designed a EATX phone factor multiple, which is a, a 2P, uh, with four HDMI link. So you can take a look if you have time and interested in on the, uh, their system. Because it's a standard multiple, you can put it in your 2U, 1U or 5U chassis as well. Okay, uh, for memory capabilities, uh, I want to talk about it uh, is because we, uh, we are the first one provide uh, 12 channels uh, DDR5 memory designs. Uh, our theoretic, theoretical memory throughput is 460 gigabytes, which is the highest bandwidth uh, in the server design, even with our competitors. Yeah. So our Pasaki can support six terabytes. Okay. We also enable many uh, memory correction features to prefer, protect your data and ensure your system capability and stability. So, okay, uh, here is the proposed pillars. Uh, we want to uh, have a briefing. Is the first one is we have circuit performance leadership. 
and we have core performance leadership and leadership across workload with the market segment. Uh, the one of the important thing is that we provide a better TCO uh, compared with our, our competitors. Of course, we are uh, in energy efficiency leadership. Right. Here's an example uh, we compare with our competitors. So, um, okay, if we, okay. If we uh, customer uh, provide, uh, want to purchase some server in their rigs, um, if they adopt AMD 9654 instead of uh, our competitors 8919H, uh, so you can have 40% save your service, service amount, and uh, you will reduce 45% and uh, less power for your server operations. And 85%, oh, 55% cap is lower. And for operation-wise, you could get 46% uh, lower. So uh, I think even on performance and the energy saving and the TCO, if you choose AMD, Epic, you can get a lot of advantage. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is the Gigabyte uh, to use standard servers with a 2P, suppose 24 days. Uh, this is a general purpose servers. So uh, they have also have some their own development module like a GSC modules. So, is a standard, so we always uh, call it a, call it as a premium skill because it can support most of our PCI lens and uh, and the relevant functions. Okay, uh, let's talk about our AMD Epicus wall record. Uh, we focus on business applications and data management and infrastructure HCI benchmarks seems uh, our first gen Naples. We are continuing to uh, increase and growth our performance and uh, gain more world records. So far we have over 300 world records and we still, in, still continue. So we, we are the best and uh, we get even better. So we will continue and go in and design our new products yeah, to offer a better uh, performance again and again more wall records. Okay, uh, I will talk about uh, environmental sustainability. Here. So, uh, AMD also set a goal to protect our environment. Environment. So we have uh, four goals, and uh, here is the status. So we are on the track to our 2025 to uh, 30 goals. The current status is 50% uh, to redu reduction of GHC, which means greenhouse gas emissions. We, uh, we now uh, achieve 25%. Yeah. And the second one is to increase uh, 30 times on energy efficiency on both AMD CPU and the GPU. Now we have 6.8 times, yeah. so we are on the track. And 80% uh, of AMD manufacturer suppliers source use renewable energy by 2025. Uh, our current status is 74%. Uh, last one is uh, 100 of AMD manufacturer surprise suppliers have public greenhouse gas goal by 2025. We also have a 74. So about uh, to sum all, sum up, we all on the track to achieve our goals of environmental protection. Okay, uh, together we advance the data center is to provide uh, pursue the model data center are uh, continuous striving the for greater efficiency and scalability while delivering the uh, increased performance and security. So we will continue to focus on accelerate our server and data center design to overcome the toughest challenge. Okay, here's a chart I want to show you um, our 
uh, uh, 30 by 25 goals. You can see the down line, which is the industrial rate. And our plan is the blue one. And uh, the amber one, orange color, is our current status. So that means we are on the track and uh, better than our plan and also better than the industry trends. Okay, this is the last slide I want to e uh, reiterate uh, the, what, what we deliver to customer ask. We are delivering the highest uh, performance data center CPU. Uh, we also have a better TCO and we also we provide transform transformative energy efficiency to support sustainability goals. And we also have a rich ecosystem, even on software or hardware. So customer don't want it, they don't want it, they won't have to worry about the transition from old servers or our, from our competitor servers. So that's what we want to deliver here.